Hey y'all, it's me, it's your girl Lay AJ, and welcome back to a brand new Animal Jam Classic video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about great ways to gain gems in Animal Jam. So, if you didn't know, um, gems are one of the biggest currency in Animal Jam, um, besides, you know, diamonds, um, gems are used to buy items and it's just like a really important currency to have a decent amount of um, just in case of future updates and such so um, I wanted to talk about great ways for both members and non-members to gain gems um, I might possibly make a part two for diamonds, and I also might make, um, Animal Jam versions. So, yeah, let's get started. So, the first way is logging in every single day if possible. So, if you are a non-member, um, this only works for you. If you log in every single day, um, you will have a chance at getting um, t three times the gems if you land on the gems on the daily spin so that is the first one the second one is going to the best guess party game um, which is in 29 minutes so basically how it works is as you can see on the screen, this side is the true side and this side is the false side. So let's say, for example, there. So basically, the object is the game, is there is a s different kinds of statements about animals listed on the screen. So let's say the statement was. Um, dogs have furry mouths, I don't know, um, you would go to the left side, which represents true, if you think that's true, and you would go to the right side if you think that's false, which represents false. Um, so basically how so how you can gain tons of diamond i mean not diamonds gems from it is if you play multiple rounds basically let's say that you win one round and you get 30 gems let's say you win two rounds so what would end up happening is you'd get 60 gems and if you win three times you'd get 120 etc so that's basically how that works except if you end up getting one false one false um or incorrect you will restart to times one um but you'll still eventually rebuild um so that's how that works so number three is mini games so this is a great method especially if you're playing best dressed um if you get voted number one multiple times you can get a couple thousand um gems but my main method is so every update or every few updates they update one of the mini games to be times two gems so basically let's say that um you are about to leave the game and you would normally get about 25 gems when it's not times two if you get 25 gems and it is times two you would get 50 gems instead so that method is also pretty good um the fourth method is to just recycle any unwanted clothing or den items 
Um, especially if you have rare item Mondays, that can be very helpful. Um, if you have unwanted rare item Mondays and end up recycling them, you can get quite a couple thousand gems from that and the rarity of it will go up a little um, because there is less um, amounts of them. So, yeah. Um, but if you are a member and you don't want to recycle your items and you want other people to buy them but you can still make a decent profit, um, what you can do is you can go to the diamond shop which by the way they are having a summer sale so if you want anything from the diamond shop make sure to get your discount um this month only so nice way to advertise eight for aj right there <laughs> um so right here you can buy the my shop for three diamonds instead of four um which you can get in any color and basically you just place them in your den advertise um and fill them up with your unwanted items and then uh if you want them if you want to sell them for de for gems you can but i recommend selling for diamonds just because it's better in my opinion but do whatever you want if you want to get gems from it get gems so the final method that i personally use most often is adventures so what i recommend is if you are i believe level two and up um you can either play a seasonal adventure or the current adventure is Tiki Trouble, which I recommend playing solo, um, since there are quite a few hackers out there which can get you banned. Um, but basically, I don't really get many from this adventure, so what I recommend is if you have the level for it, to go to the river's heart and play hard mode because I can get up to about 4,000, 5,000 every single time I play, which is really good because if I played right now, I would probably get um, 3,700. So, I mean, 300,700. So, yeah, um,. Wait, no, what? 300,070. Yeah. Oops. Um, but yeah, uh, so that's a great way. Um, if you are a member, you can obviously play the Forgotten Desert. Um, but if you are a non-member, you can play any adventure, obviously, but I just personally recommend... Uh, for those who are looking to get thousands um, per one round, I recommend the River's Heart hard mode. So, yeah. But, yeah, y'all, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, share, and all that jazz. Also, make sure to hit that notification bell so you will always be notified every single time I post a brand new Animal Jam Classic, Animal Jam, or Feral video. Also, make sure to follow all of my social media platforms, which will all be linked in the description box below. But yeah, y'all. Bye! Another one I totally forgot about is if you go to the diamond shop, um, one of the things you can buy is you can buy different, um different um like amounts of gems for diamonds so like um one of them i believe for 10 diamonds you can get 15,000 gems so yeah um sorry i forgot about that one so sorry another method i forgot to add is um you can also use codes 
Um, there are different codes, like I believe like Leaping Leopard, for example, if you go to the redeem code part in the settings, I believe it is, um, you can redeem a code like Leaping Leopard, which I don't know if that's actually one of them, but you can type that in. And if they still work, you should get about, like, 100 to 250, sometimes 750, uh, gems. So, yeah. So sorry, I forgot about those two.